Hi, I'm John Barber, Editor-in-Chief at IDW Publishing, and welcome to Barber Shop. Well, back again to talk to you about one of my favorite subjects, Transformers, this time, this year's Transformers Annual. If you've been following writer Brian Ruckley's epic run on Transformers, you know you're in for big, and you know you're in for complex. We're in the early days of the war for Cybertron as things are starting to heat up between Autobots and Decepticons, and Brian's never been afraid to shy away from what that means to a society, to a person, well, to a metal person. Here in this year's annual, we've got a story called Lightstar, and Brian is joined by Transformers legend, I think it's fair to call him a legend nowadays, Alex Milne. Alex, you know, from more than meets the eye, the times I got to work with him, like ROM vs. Transformers and Unicron, and recently the hit crossover Transformers vs. Terminator. And Alex hasn't been a stranger to Transformers, but man, I love seeing Alex get to cut loose with his designs and his character acting in a big extra length story like this, and see how Brian and he riff off each other, and see what colorist John Paul Bove is doing. Is this career best work? This might be career best work. So, the story here is that a group of Autobots on board the Titan Lodestar are traveling to Hexagon, a trade and logistics hub built into an asteroid and run by Thunderwing and Bludgeon, kind of heavyweights in the not being terribly nice department. Anyway, the main Autobots on board Lodestar are Lightbright, the resident city speaker who has the ear of the Titan, and the technical solutions team, who you might know better as the Technobots. They're there to bring in a rogue titan, Vigilum, hopefully easily and peacefully, but they've got a massive implosion device, the kind that kills titans, because they have to be ready for anything. And yet, they still find a little more than they bargained for. What secret are Bludgeon and his compatriots keeping? What classic Beast Wars character makes an appearance? Who even makes it all the way to the final page? One way to find out, and it's a ride well worth taking. And this year's Transformers Annual is a great microcosm if you want to check in on what the Transformers series has been up to. It's an important piece of the overall story, but also one you can hit the ground running on if you're not up to date on your Transformers reading. I really love these stories where the characters are cut off from the rest of the world, in deep space here, doing things that will have huge consequences, but still feeling isolated, as they only hear stolen moments of what's going on back home knowing they're powerless to stop the chaos consuming everything. Plus, we've got some amazing action sequences like I love to see Alex draw, and a real gut punch of an ending, which I also love to see Alex draw, and Brian Wright. I love it, even though it hurts a bit. So, visit the IDW website or your local comic book store and check out this year's Transformers Annual by Brian Ruckley, Alex Milne, John Paul Bove, letterer Jake M. Wood, and the editorial team of David Marriott, Riley Farmer, and Tom Waltz. And, as always, let's use this time to connect and keep the IDW community active. That's all for this week. Remember, you can keep up with IDW on social media and check back here for news and updates. Thanks for watching.